Okay. Give me a wave if you can hear me. If you look at the little, but there you go, Adrian, Ray, or say hello in the chat. That'd be good as well. Say hello, um, or give me a wave, either or. So work for me. Hi, Stuart. Good to see you. Nick, Stuart again. Um, good to see you guys. I'm just hoping my voice can get through this. It's um, definitely it's definitely going to be a test, this one. Anyway, how are you guys? You well? All good. Hi, Adam. Adam, you're getting a special mention, by the way. Don't worry, no one knows who you are, <clears throat> but you are getting a special mention, just to let you know. I'm going to warn you in advance. <clears throat> I think it's you anyway. Uh, good. OK, well, it's one minute past the hour. There are people still coming in the room. Greetings, Jochen. Jochen, um, good to see you from Germany as well. Good to see you, Paul. Um, and greetings to everyone here, all of the Cashmaster <coughs> clan, as it is. I don't know whether Graham is uh, joining us tonight or not, but uh, that's a uh, good thank you to him to, for arranging this. Because I know that you guys are, you know, if you follow Graham, you're big Bitcoin people. And you're probably wondering, well, why, what is this better than Bitcoin thing? What could be better than crypto? Well, maybe not be better than crypto, but, you know, something you can do alongside crypto. Because this is definitely <clears throat> not a crypto bashing session. But I think we can all appreciate that. The crypto ride is a bit of a roller coaster. Who can agree with that? Just give me a wave. If I just ask you to wave, just wave at me. Just press that button. Wave furiously at me. Uh, but it's a bit of a ride, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, but it's a fun ride in many cases. But you wouldn't want to put all your pension in it kind of thing, would you? Now, what I'm getting to here is that kind of ride versus something that's similar upside, if not bigger in certain cases but a repeatable proven strategy. And the big word I'm going to be using with you this evening is repeatable, because repeatable means many things. And uh, I want to get into that as we go along today. Um, now, this is from Adam. So Adam, give me a wave. I can see you there. Don't worry, no one knows your surname. It's OK. But actually, Adam said, and I thought I'd have to have uh, Graham forwarded me this from his WhatsApp. Hi, Graham. I was really pleased to see the name of Guy Cohen again after all these years. I subscribed to a signal group back in 2007. Wow, things have changed since then. And it was excellent. Um, and et cetera, et cetera. So, Adam, give me a wave. There you go. I see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for you know, that nice uh, uh, endorsement. And I hope that um, by the end, I hope that you felt that it was well worth reacquainting with me. Uh, after all this time and after all these many years. So here's what we're going to do today, and I'm going to go as quickly as I can as well, um, sensitive to your time. Talk about the first secret is dot, dot, dot. I'm not going to ruin the secret, but that's the first secret I'm going to tell you in a moment. Then I'm going to tell you the next secret of how to grow a small account consistently or any account consistently. Then we go on to why prices move. Once you understand why prices actually move, then you can anticipate the moving or be in the position ready for when they start moving. Then we are prepared. Once we've done stages one, two, and three, we are then prepared for what I call the big money footprints, which I'll get onto. This is a key part of everything that I do, is following big money. And there are footprints that we can see that may alert us to big money being present and also being in the imminent future as well. Then we'll go through a quick case study of how to get crypto-like returns, but in a repeatable way. Again, there's that word again, repeatable. And then we will look at a particular crypto like repeatable setup with stocks so very exciting and uh I've, literally this is a brand new uh, presentation in 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 ways just literally for this audience of grahams and so i'm pretty excited to get going now some of the concepts here if you know me are will be fairly familiar if you don't they will be new definitely get a pen out um and we'll go for it now here's a chart of crypto pretty familiar it goes up and down and up and down and you know, over the long term, it, to be fair, it's gone up. Here's another chart of crypto. Up, 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 many oodles of percent, and then a bit of down, down, down. And then this is one I'm in. This is a crypto. I mean, I'm not a crypto guy, but this is one I'm in. And it went up with four times, you know, fourfold. And it's kind of stabilized since then. That's really nice. I was in sort of around here. So 
crypto can do crazy funky things and you know i can show you ones that went up ones that went down ones that went up and down ones that went down up and down and, and all these other things as well we know the form don't we with crypto what you might not be aware of is stocks this is stocks this is overstock went up by tenfold in four months and this is one of my my own clan graham's got his clan i got one of my own clan and he goes um he goes this is uh, uh rohan he goes Oh, hi, Guy, that short squeeze filter is my current favorite setup. So Overstock was at the time what we call a short squeeze. Very interesting setup what a short squeeze is. It can propel very big moves. Who's heard of a short squeeze, by the way? Who's heard of that? Just give me a wave. It's a certain situation where that happens with a stock, and it can propel a stock to do ridiculous things. Here was Tesla, uh, even just in the last few weeks, going up almost double just in the last few weeks. Tesla, upstart again upstart quadrupling in just a few months this is a stock you don't associate stocks with doing this do you but this is what happened literally in the last few months the question is this who really cares how it's done and what medium is for that's not what really matters the most important question is is it repeatable give me a wave if that makes sense is it something you can repeat because that's surely the most important thing so this is it's like a system like McDonald's, you know, you can scale up if you have a system, can't you? You can have something that you can play with uh, over and over again. That's the much more important question than the what. Because if it is repeatable, then you have a machine and here's a, a number of stock charts. And guess what? They're all doing pretty much exactly the same thing and then bringing big returns as a result over and over again whether it's capri holdings or goldman sachs roku general electric roku's on the way down by the way you can make money on the way down too or advanced micro devices they're all doing pretty much the same thing same pattern here you've got a machine here so the first secret is actually repeatability repeatability can come in various forms it can come in the form of knowledge so a diamond dealer has secret knowledge that they can repeat effectively and that information is worth millions to a diamond don't mean many poor diamond dealers do you and you know diamond markups are typically 100 200 percent and they you know the value add they added on top they know things about the cut the clarity you know carrot the source etc or repeatability can be as a result also of a formula can't it because coca-cola repeat the formula they protect the formula in that big bolt but they repeat the formula over and over again make a multi-billion dollar company as does kfc and it's the same with stocks or well, same with any kind of trading if you can have a system that is repeatable then you have something that's almost like a little business in a box as well so this is kind of the big the first secret is repeatability and all these charts whether it's boeing or halliburton or chubb or bxp they're all doing the same thing it's the same thing every single time that's what you see these little footprints here i'm going to talk to you about those footprints a little bit later this is a lady who's uh, one of our clan, Pat, turned $3,800 into $33,000 in literally nine months. In nine months, she almost sort of 8 x her account all through the same exact setup every single time. So that was the first secret, repeatability. The second pit is the secret of growing an account consistently. Now, um, if you stick around to the end, um, you can see how you can get hold of this little book that I've written as well. But here is the first sort of the first second secret um, of growing an account, whether it's a small account or even a large account. And the first secret is keep it simple. Trading is actually not about charts, not about squiggly lines. It's about people. It's about buyers versus sellers. Nothing more, nothing less. So keep that in your head. In the old days, people would trade on exchange. They still do in certain areas. OK, it's buyers and sellers, you know, playing that tug of war, if you like. If you're looking at something like this, you know, like a complicated chart with lines and squiggles and, and angles and this and that, that will lose you money. That you're going on the wrong track because you're getting further and further away from what's really important, which is buyers versus sellers. So you want something simple, a simple system that can evaluate the balance of power between buyers and sellers. And your job is to be on the right side on who's winning. If the buyers are winning, you want to be buying. If the seller's winning, you either want to be out or with them as well. And a simple chart can actually reflect what people are doing. And that's what will help you make money in a systematic and repeatable way. Just give me a wave if that makes sense as well. Keep it simple. Get 
to the real nub of the issue, buyers versus sellers. And this is George, by the way, this is on uh, LinkedIn. He goes, I can vouch for Dr. Cohen's magic system made 88% profit in under a year. Magic, what's the word here? System. And by the way, I'm not a doctor, okay? He calls me Dr. Cohen, it's very nice. I actually had one client who always used to call me like a, a, a sort of a general or you know something from the army, <laughs> army title. I don't know why people do this, but it's very fun. But again, George refers to system. And remember, systems can be repeatable. And uh, in terms of growth secrets, this is the other part about Pat and actually Chloe here. On average, they're only making, on average, just over one trade per week, on average, and yet still able to 8x or 15x their accounts in very short space of time. Wow, who would think that with stocks? And if you're interested, by the end, uh, you can find out how to get this book, Growth Secrets for Small Trading Accounts, but it applies to any kind of trading account in any case either. So we got repeatability and we got the simplicity um, of how to grow an account. The next part is this, really important. Why do prices move and how do they move? And this is really important because this is gonna set us up for the next section, which will be the big money footprints. That is our system. So let's get to this. I'm gonna explain a little bit about me first. I am a very nerdy guy. I'm friendly, but nerdy, or nerdy, but friendly. So I'm not your typical nerd. Uh, I can get out and about and I can be sociable, but I've made over seven figures and seven and thousands of percent in personal gains in my own trading and trading I've done for other people, including runs like, you know, 14 and a half thousand, you know, reasonably small account into 187,000 in, in six months and the like over and over again. I'm also the founder of Wise Traders and what we do is we look after private investors as well who want to take charge of their own financial well-being as well. You may have seen me in various media outlets, whether it's Reuters or Bloomberg or various bits and bobs with that. I've also served big clients like New York Stock Exchange, who I license software to, International Securities Exchange, who I provide data analysis for. I've written four books, two of which are bestsellers. I'm not going to claim that all of them were bestsellers, but two of them are definite multi-edition bestsellers. And again, remember, it's all about people. Keep that in mind. Don't overcomplicate things. Also, I run funds professionally as well. I, I am the system or the signal provider for professionals and those funds, one of those funds, which has uh, been going since February 2020, got about 21 million in there right now, done 87% in the last 20 month, months. It is measured against a benchmark. The benchmark is the S&P. It has more than doubled the S&P during that time. And that system, if you were to put it back all the way back till 2005, when it first started, when we first started testing it from in terms of timeline, it is more than 11 times the S&P. Again, it's a system that we're talking about here. And that's why I can command the big fees and hundreds of thousands in fees from professionals to help them manage their client portfolios as well. And we're well on the way to being hedge fund as well. But again, I'm the founder of Wise Trade as well. We serve an elite community of private investors just like you who have become part of our family for years and years and years. And what we do is we transform people's results and their lives. That's why Chloe was able to 15X in 30 months. That's why Roger's made over $685,000 in profits over the years as well. And it's transformed his retirement life. That's what we do. We transform people right to the point where they might be about to give up. That's what we help people to do. And for me, it's about quite a lot of things, about creating a legacy of knowledge as much as the, the financial bit means I can have some flexibility with you know, taking my kid to school, my kids to school now, actually not just one. Uh, this guy doesn't go to school, but uh, you might've seen him right before I uh, made the presentation, but it also means I can have little accounts for my kids and I can trade for them when I feel like it. I don't, you know, again, we don't have to be too intense about this. And again, double my money or almost double theirs in a very short space of time when the circumstances are right. So now we're gonna talk again about why prices move. It's so important, this is a big piece of your, of your knowledge. <clears throat> so picture a dream home. This is a lovely home here, uh, very nice. And I'm gonna go through three different scenarios all of which actually contain a very important trading lesson. So let's go through it one scenario at a time. Scenario number one is that everyone is bidding at the same level, which happens to be the asking price. So the asking price is $950,000 in this. And so you make an offer of 950. Don't wanna to be too quick out the gate, but Bob offers the same, and then Sue and Jim and everyone else offers the exact same amount. 
what's happened? Lots of money being thrown at this property, but the price is not moving. So the learning point is this, that big money on its own wasn't enough to move the price. Just give me a wave, that makes sense. All these offers are coming in, but the price isn't moving. Make sense? Again, that happens in trading. If your share is at $50 and you bid $50, it's not going to move price, is it? Until you accept that you've either got to bid more or sell for less, something like that. So scenario two is there's some new information. It's public information that's come out into the domain. Google are make, uh, building a big headquarters literally five miles down the road from this beautiful home, and it's going to transform the neighborhood, isn't it? So Bob gets that information, as does everyone else, and thinks, actually, this property is going to be worth more soon. So I'm going to bid more. I'm going to bid 960. I'm going to up my bid. Sue ups her bid to 970. Because in the neighborhood, we're going to want new facilities. There's going to be more demand for more homes, and there's going to be better roads and better restaurants and leisure facilities. All this, this neighborhood's up and coming, right? So now we're getting into a bidding war. You're now bidding 990,000. Wow. Your Jim wants it more. He bids a million. You now counter offer 1.1 million. You know what you got here? You got a bidding war. So here's the learning point. Big money alone that wasn't enough to move the price, but big aggressive money with people climbing over themselves. That's what moved the price. Give me a wave if that makes sense to you. Just simple stuff. Demand and supply kind of stuff. That's what it's all about. But now there's a new scenario. Third scenario here is not public information. It's private, scarce information. So Bob our friend, um, is rather good at due diligence. He's walked around the neighborhood and he's discovered that behind this property is a big parcel of land owned by an old couple and they privately are willing to sell to him, but they don't want anyone else to know. It's private, it's not on the market, but they'll do a deal with him. And only he now knows that that land is privately available, so which means that he can increase the value of this one. He now knows he can bid more because he might be able to build more at the back. He might, he's got control of the back end of this property now. So he can do anything he likes. He can expand, he can make more properties, he can do anything he likes. So he's now willing to pay more for that one. So he's now willing to pay, say, 1.2 million for it. And he's the only one who can do that. So if you don't want Bob to get your dream home, you want to get yourself some scarce information because information is useful, but scarce information, that's the life changing thing. Scarce information is actually the system that our diamond dealer has, which is why he can mark up by 100 to 200%. It's scarce information is the system that Coca-Cola has. It's their secret recipe. Scarce information is the system that KFC has. Get the picture here. Give me a wave as well. Get the picture. It's a system. Scarce information can be systematized and can be, where's that magic word? Repeatable. Okay, repeatable profits. It can therefore be life changing. And our aim is to be like a diamond dealer of the stock market. So that's why prices move. And if we can anticipate the point at which they're potentially going to move, that's going to put you in a really good spot, isn't it? So now we're prepared for the big money footprints. Let's go through those. So the big money footprints is a major part of my entire trading system, which has three components. The first component is market timing, which is basically a, a about don't screw it up. You can't expect to time the market perfectly, but we can make sure that we don't do things like buying into overextended markets or selling into oversold markets. We can, we can be sensible about things with market timing. The second part is stock selection. That's where the big money footprint is all about. We're looking for seeing big money footprints of, of what's going on in the stock. And the third part is the trade plan. We're going to talk tonight about the stock selection process and the big money footprints. And here's what they are. Elite investors trade with billions of dollars every single day. And the activity that they, have, they place leaves a trail, which actually, to the untrained eye, which most are, is utterly invisible. But if you can latch onto it, you will be able to create a system, bank consistent profits, remove guesswork, save enormous amounts of time, and simplify things so we don't have overwhelm as well. Now, where did this all come from? Well, I did an MBA, a finance MBA, back in 1996-97, and cut a long story short, two professors basically said the same thing. If you want to make big money, follow what the big money is doing. And that was, that cost 57,000, well, that would cost you now $57,000 worth of MBA in one year for that wonderful advice. But here's what they meant. They elaborated. There are two, 
types of big stock investors. One's the pension funds and insurance companies, mainly investing in stocks, and there's another identity, options traders. Options traders who are taking more risk in order to make more return. They risk more in order to make more. They invest enormous amounts in, in, in their information sources, and they rely on the, that information, scarce information, in many cases, in order to bet on those big returns. So they're the bigger risk takers. And basically, these professors said, if you can figure out what these guys are doing, then that's how you can make big money. Makes sense. Makes sense. Professionals risking more to make more. Give me a wave if that makes sense. Wouldn't it be great if we could figure out what they're doing? Well, that's what I tried to do. Um, but I then realized very quickly it would take years of research. It would take billions of rows of actual data, lots and lots and lots of data. Quantitative analysts, they're the big eggheads, you know, Wall Street and the city who do all the maths. Specialist programmers, industrial sized servers, specific expertise, it would cost millions of dollars. So a bit like banging your head against a brick wall. But what I did discover in my quest was that there were three other big money footprints which also could help outperform. So let's go through those. So three big money footprints are as follows. And remember, big aggressive money is what we're looking to try and latch onto here. The first big money footprint is the presence of, guess what? Big money starts with a B. <laughs> now I'll show you how that works in a minute. The second big money footprint, well, we saw what moved the needle, didn't we? It was the A word as in aggression. And the third big money footprint is all about eyeballs. It's all about what's triggering people, what's triggering professionals and others to be looking at a particular stock at a particular time. Aggression will do that, but also the presence or the, 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 cut, the, the crossing of what I call key levels. I will go through all of these in one go. When we talk about big money, we're talking about big volume, a volume acceleration. So when these bars are green, they're showing you how many shares are being traded in a stock. And if they're green, it meant the price went up. And if they're blue, if they're, if they're red, it meant the price went down. So we're looking for big green ones towering over what went before. Now, this is General Electric. General Electric. Boring General Electric. It doesn't get much more boring than that. And yet, with big money footprints present, look, big, just give me a wave if you see my mouse and the big footprint there, that big volume spike. Do you see it? That move from there triggered an 83% move in five months with General Electric. And that's boring, right? But 83% in five months, that's not boring. That's crypto-like returns, right? Off that, that's $4,500 right there. The second <coughs> big money footprint is, the, is that aggression word, isn't it? And what we're looking for, even before we're involved in a stock, is a big move up, you know, meaningful move up, and then a little sideways move. So a little, you know, what they call a bull flag in, in some circles, okay? But, but I want to see a big move up before. I want to see that this price can, is capable of actually moving. So let's have a look. Another one, ATAR, recently, uh, back in August, that is. And what we have here is, do you see where my mouse is? And the, the thing, do you see that big move up here? Do you see where it went from sub five to almost eight? More than doubled in a very short space of time. Just give me a wave if you see it. There you go, that from here to here, that's a big move up. Then it goes sideways and then goes up big time, doubles in a few days, 124% in four days. That was after the first price jump. Interesting, wouldn't you say? The next one is the key levels. And there are three major key levels that you can use, the 20-day moving average, the 50-day moving average, and the 200-day moving average. I tend to focus on the 50 and the 200. And what we're looking for is a cross of that one. It needs to cross and stay crossed. If it's crossing up, I want it to stay above. That's what I want it to do. Because now I've got eyeballs on this. Because trading desks of professionals and amateurs like are trained to look at stocks that are above their 200 day moving average in this particular case. Could be the 50 as well. Paul Tudor Jones was the hedge fund manager who said he didn't even look at a stock unless it was above its 200 day moving average. It created a bit of a cult frenzy on that one, which has stood the test of time. So it pays, doesn't it? Makes sense. If everyone's looking at it, I want to see what everyone else is looking at in a way because that might create massive demand if we get it right. And this was a firm recently. This was actually one of these short squeezers, by the way. This had a short squeeze at the time, which can lead to very dramatic moves, as you can see here, lots of drama here. But we had that picked out 
and we could see it had crossed the pink line, the, the magenta line, the 50-day moving average, crossed, and it stayed crossed, and then bounce, bounce up twice. So there were specific circumstances here, and that was actually the 50-day uh, moving average in that particular case. Uh, again, recently, back in September. But what if we put these things together? Wouldn't that be, who thinks that might be even more powerful? We could put big money footprints together. Who thinks that might be actually quite sensible? Well, let's have a look at boring old GE again. Well, we've got the one big money footprint. We all saw that with the big volume spike. Then we've got, well, actually quite a big move actually here, you know, from 50 to 60, it's a pretty decent move. There's actually even a, a better move here. It doesn't have to be enormous. We don't want to talk about doubling at time, but you know, five, 10% very quickly can be enough. And then does it cross and hold that key level? It sure does. So three big money footprints are all present in GE setting it up right after this bell by the way is earnings it's very important i think a lot of things happen at earnings okay and it sets it up and then 83 percent in five months it's actually more if you took this one this was another setup that we do as well but we're going to that we'll go for the lesser one of the two that's boring old ge making crypto light returns what about atae uh, ATER? that one doubled in four, more than doubled in four days well are all the big money footprints there well the volumes there we can see those these green volume spikes are towering above what went before. We've got the big move that we saw before, and we've got the cross and hold of the key level. Uh, again, there's George, uh, can vouch we've got to go into Mac to the magic system. And then there's Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat did something similar. Let's have a look at that as well. Big money footprint one. Just give me a wave if you see it. Big volume spike here. We're not even talking about this one. We're talking about this one that went before. This one here towers over what went before. Crossed and hold and also big move from 120 to 140. That's a decent move. That's before it made the big move. So the big money footprint's there. And by the way, can you do this on the way down as well? Absolutely you can. This is Tal, a Chinese education stock. And guess what? This one tanked, it crossed and held the 20, had big volume. Look at this big red volume one, not less than 30 days before. That's what I look for. This went down by 64% in 32 days, okay? Again, big money footprints, but showing us on the way down that time. And then, you know, can you do it with high ticket stocks? Absolutely. Big money footprints with Bill, they're all there. There's a big uh, towering volume that crosses the hold. All the, all the big money footprints are there. And can it also do low ticket stuff? This is actually bit mining, uh, which is an interesting one because obviously a, a crypto related stock. And guess what? Did the same there as well. So we've got actually that one should be over here. But you've got big volume there, a big move, cross and hold. And then you've got this big move from eight to 14 in very 53% in three days, crypto light returns. This is good rooks. This was a short squeeze. Remember that short squeeze? Rohan here is again talking about that short squeeze. Big returns can come off short squeezes very quickly. In fact, the same was with uh, bit mining as well. And again, all the big money footprints, they're there. Massive volume. Look at that big volume spike there. Look at that big move there. By the way, at earnings, you see the little bell there, that's earnings. And then the cross and hold, and then 25%, 13 days. Okay, pretty good, less than three weeks. Nice stuff. Now, again, I wanna to talk to you about scarce information because scarce information is life-changing and there's something very important I'm gonna show you. But is it possible to 3X in a matter of months with stocks? Well, I say yes, because I've got the people who've done it over and over and over again. So crypto light returns, but with stocks and in a repeatable way, how fun could that be? And these are other sort of bit better than Bitcoin traders. I'm being facetious about better than Bitcoin. It's different from Bitcoin, but it's just as much fun. So this was Patrick who used some tasty language to say four and a half thousand dollars in literally an hour. Simon, 76,644 in uh, 206 days. And you know, these guys actually thought they had small accounts. And I think it's not that small, you're doing okay there. What about these ladies? Again, we call them better than Bitcoin traders. These actually all started with small accounts, 3,800 to 33,000, you saw it at the Pat. Chloe, 15Xing, big, big thing for her. I'll tell you about her later. And then there's Joyce, tripled her account from May to December, again, in, in six months, all doing exactly the same thing. So the recap is, you're filtering for this volume rush, you're filtering for this price jump, you're filtering from the cross and hold of key levels, and we're gonna talk about scarce information in just a minute. But before we do, 
um, there's another thing to talk about, and that is you do need that third wheel. Remember my, my three master keys of trading? We have market timing, stock selection, and the trade plan. I also have a plan for that, a little four-step plan to make sure that you have consistency and control. Now, I teach that at my Wise Traders Live Summit, in two, uh, which is on December the 4th. And this is what I teach. This is what I go through. And we have the platform where you can literally perm down 10,000 stocks into literally a handful of high probability setups in literally one click, all automated, and the training and support to literally start doing this repeatable system, providing a consistent, profitable type of income for yourself. And literally within a few days, it's really, really quick. You can be confident and consistent with a repeatable system. And then obviously then you've still got time to do things you enjoy. And it can be an awful lot of fun. Here's the way it goes on the day. We actually have got a foundation day for so for those of you who haven't done this sort of thing before, I have a foundation day on the 27th of November. It's about a two thirds of a day from 10 o'clock till three, three or four. And we make sure that everyone is caught up for the main event the next week. So it's a foundation day. Take two thirds of your day on the 27th of November, going through the basics, getting everyone at the same place for the starting line, which is on the 4th of December, which is our strategies day, which we'll be hosting live from a hotel, but we're also broadcasting it. So wherever you are in the world, you can attend this no matter where you are. So that's our strategies day on the 4th of December. And you get to meet some good people either online or actually in person if you like there. And what comes with all this is all the strategies I do, all the tools, the guidance to transform your trading literally immediately as we've done with so many people over so many years as well. And we keep on getting better and better. I'll show you about that in a minute. Here's how it kind of works. You can log in even on a mobile device to a private members area. You can literally click a button for a particular fast filter, whichever one you choose, but you can choose your own or you can actually choose some of my preloaded ones in a couple of clicks, a bit like the ones I was talking about earlier. And then you are trained now to see visually whether those big money footprints, yes, you filtered for them, but yeah, are they happening in the right way? You do that with your eye and you therefore you can pick the best trades and the best setups safely. What also comes is a whole lot of good things for training tools. Um, not only is there sort of a nice uh, gift basket, which I won't go into, but we have things called um, laminates, both digital and physical laminates that I will be sending out to you, including your one minute trading journal. A journal is something that no one really wants to do, but we've got it refined to less than a minute. So we'll do it because it'll make you a better trader, make you perform better. And then all the summary guides of everything you need to know from us, um, which is nice and easy, nice in the hand and very, very easy to do, but it's all digital as well. Here's how it looks. The foundation day, the strategies day, and the recordings, which we chop up into bite-sized chunks for you to then search for easily so you can get to exactly what you want to see immediately, is 3591. Now, we haven't gone into scarce information yet. I'm going to scarce information very shortly. That has a value of $3,500. Then you've got the 12 months worth of VIP, the best trade finder access I have. This has got all of my stuff in it that you can click a button and go to the trade fund you want. That's a $3,000 value. You've got those cheat sheets, which will help you enormously have uh, everything to hand where you want it. So you don't have to scramble around for information, 397 value. We have a thing called time-lapse training charts. This is where I train you and I give you a year's worth of experience in literally a few hours because I record a chart and literally every day goes past in three seconds. And you can then train yourself. The chart stops, I pop up on the screen, I go here, there's something happening here. Do you know what this setup is? And then you stop and you go, oh yeah, and that might be, and so I can train you very quickly. It's a fast track, it's a unique thing we do. We also have the small account growth secrets, video and guide I showed you about earlier, 497 value, this has helped a lot of people. I also got the gift bundle, unlimited support. So a very classy gift bundle for you. We don't do tut, okay? A lot of care, consideration, and expense goes into that for you, but it makes the difference. And there's bonuses. The first bonus is mastermind group sessions. We literally will have, I promise you three, but you will get more than three because I always under promise on purpose and I always over deliver on purpose. It's kind of a strategy, isn't it? But I always, I do these mastermind group sessions so that we can recap what you've learned and then we can progress from there. And I'm also there to answer all of your questions as well. And then there's other bonuses, two, three, and four, all with big value, uh, uh, a, a accustomed to them. And if you do it now, you can get in earlier because you can have access to last year's summit 
um, so you can get cracking even earlier. Now, the total value of all that, including all the bonuses, even the hidden ones, is over $14,000. Our normal price, if you tried to get it without this, is $3,997. But if you do it today, it's a classic special, is $1,997. Classic special. So this is, uh, we can also, if you want you know, personal or personalized coaching, we can do that for you as well for an upgrade as well. And we are limited to 90 seats because there is a personalized aspect to what we're doing here. So that's what we're getting. And I'm gonna show you a bit more in a minute. This is how it feels. You see, you click a button and you find a stock with the big money footprints presenting themselves in the way that we like them to present. And here's CRISPR, this is what we did earlier. Uh, or, or a few months ago, and there was a 30% profit in seven days. Crypto star returns were instantly. And Joel says about this, um, I received the gift pack and I really appreciate it, but I have to tell you the greatest gift is your software. It saves so much time and combined your training plan. I've finally started making consistent profits. What's that? Repeatable. So repeatable stuff. And again, Pat, again, did it with all the same setups over and over again. So we talked earlier, we touched upon scarce information. We said that information was valuable, but scarce information is life-changing. We saw that with Coke and KFC and the diamonds as well. Well, why do I get paid these big sums by these professionals, you know, six figures at a time? Why do we consistently outperform the markets with our systems? Why do we do that? Uh, what were my professors talking about? What were they talking about when they were talking about follow the big money? Well, remember I said it would take years to do, it would take billions of rows of data to be analyzed. I'd need these quantitative analysts and programmers and servers and expertise and it would cost millions of dollars. Well, it did. It cost all that. It took all of that, all that time and dedication and frustration and all those other things to do it. But the result was this, a line that goes from minus one to plus one. And when it's in the minus area, it's bearish. And when it's in the positive area, it's bullish. And this is the very picture that has transformed Roger, transformed his retirement life. It's won him almost $700,000 in profit. How did he do it? All because of this line. This is the line that is patented. This thing here that you look at right now has a US patent as of last year, okay? This is how special. When we're talking about scarce information, it doesn't get much more scarce than the patent because no one else can copy it, right? And that's what we've got here. So this is called the OVI or the Options Volatility Indicator. And what it shows you is what hidden money is doing, hidden leverage money is doing, the risk takers, the options traders. What are they doing? And we've got an algorithm that enables us to find out what they're doing in, in a way that enhances and improves performance by around 71%. So it's showing you what the hidden money is doing Red is bearish, remember, blue is bullish. So here's overstock again, and the stock goes down from 24 down to 10 and then ramps right back up, okay? So you would assume, wouldn't you, that it might be a red OBI for the stock going down, and you might also assume that it might be a blue OBI for the stock going up. Does that make sense? It might be quite logical. And within that are various trade setups that other people are not seeing because no one else gets to see this line either. And this is what took Chloe from being a 40% winner to a 76% win rate, almost doubling her win rate. With Kyle, it more than doubled his win rate from being a complete loser at 30% win rate to an 80%, eight out of 10 trade win rate, exceeding his social security. For Chloe, it meant she could take a dream trip to Europe because she's based in, in uh, Kuala Lumpur. And by the way, it also meant she got a job with me as well. So Chloe is now part of our team. Quite a big life changer. Um, so we're not talking about the three big money footprints. We're talking about the four big money footprints. And let's look at boring old General Electric again and then see that actually, yes, we've got one, two, three big money footprints, but actually staring you in the face the whole time is that fourth one. Give me a wave if you now notice it. Staring you in the face, okay? The fourth big money footprint, the one that no one else can see, the one that's patented the one that's driving hedge fund performance, outperformance even, I'd say. And of course, the same thing goes with a firm. The, big, the fourth big money footprint was there all along as well. And with Beyond Meat, the fourth big money footprint was there before the big move. It changed, in fact, before the big move. The big money footprint was here. The hidden one was here. 
when Roku halved in price. And guess what? It was red then. It was bearish. There was a big exodus at that point. You see how this is going. It happens with big stocks like Amazon, and it happens with little stocks as well. Here was CRISPR. Again, I showed you that. Again, the big money footprints were all there in evidence. And then this is the OVI was there too, which again, no one else can see. Now, here's one. This is Kirkland's. It's a home stores in the US. We picked this up in June last year, and the stock was only 150. That was interesting. And guess what? What happened? You, do you see the just? Do you see the, all the big money footprints there? The fourth one in particular. Do you see the big block of blue there? Have a look there. Well, here's what happened. It doubled in six days. It broke out and doubled in six days. But that was only the beginning of the story. And by the way, Paul wrote in to say, "I've got my first profit on this one. Now I'm going to set my second profit." Well, this is what then happened with Kirkland's. It went. It not only doubled. It actually went up by seven and a half fold. It went from 150 up to $14 almost in two months. And that wasn't the end of it either because it carried on going to $25 and $30. So 1,222% in eight months, all down to these big money footprints as well. So again, crypto star returns are possible. This was Leg Mason, uh, looked all good. All the big money footprints were there. And it got taken over. So someone here must have known something. Someone here was betting on an event. That event happened. And it was a 34% win in three weeks. So there's lots of good things going on here. So now you know the big money footprints, with the ability to follow where big money is and where it's likely to get, keep on going. And so now we do a case study, um, how to get crypto like returns in a repeatable way. And then there's another big section here. I say big, easy section, but a really important section, the crypto like repeatable setup. Who would like to know that? Just the crypto like repeatable setup, because that's where you're going to get the juicy, juicy, juicy returns. Okay, so how to get crypto like returns in a repeatable way? Well, let's look at what someone has done. You know, like Chloe, 15x, like Pat, over 8x, like Joyce, over 3x in a very quick amount of time. Well, here's one thing they do. They only trade one or two setups, including the big money footprints. They only do that. So that's not an awful lot to learn, is it? That's actually quite manageable, isn't it? So they're not overdoing it. They're also not trying to trade too many stocks, only a very small number. They take profits or they capture profits quickly and early. They'll still be in for the long run if it keeps on going, but they will make sure they're ring fenced quickly, that they protect their profits. And also they limit their risk. They don't bet the farm either. They don't also over trade. They keep it really, really simple. Remember, only just over one trade per week on average for both of those for these outstanding results. And here's Chloe. Uh, when Chloe, uh, she wrote to me back in 2018, she was really struggling. Uh, she said, thanks for taking time to conduct the one-on-one -on -one session I gave her. Your plan has helped me grow my trading account by 78%. My win rate has also improved. So it got up to 72% by that point. Now, fast forward you know, two and a half years, and this is where she's at. Started with 3,000 and now 45,830, return of 15x, 1,427.67%. 76% win rate. Some big winners in there, aren't there? Pat, similar kind of deal, wrote to me there, wrote and basically the, the number is 3,800 she started with, and then it was up to 33,000, return of eight and a bit fold in only nine months there. Again, really cool stuff. So let's have a look at some of the Chloe's trades and you'll see and you'll recognize they all look pretty similar. Whether it's Adobe at 34%, whether it's advanced micro devices at 42%. Again, the fourth big money footprint is present. The other ones are there as well, but I'm just showing you the fourth, that the, the hidden money, the one that no one else gets to see. Marriott, 20.27% in just a few weeks. There's the uh, Russell, uh, 24%, again, in just a few weeks. Again, big money footprint. The, one, the most important one is there every time. Alibaba in November, 41.56% uh, last November. Again, very simple stuff. They all look the same. Who recognized they pretty much all look the same in terms of what they were doing? Big money footprints. So not that much to really figure out here. So now I'm going to go into the last bit, which is the crypto-like repeatable setup in stocks. OK, this is the kind of setup that goes nutty. I mean, crazy nutty. And by the way, we already saw some crazy stuff with General Electric. 
right? But this this stuff can go even worse, even even bigger. So it's kind of like your crypto style returns. So in the wise traders environment, we're looking for you know a, a setup that could provide even bigger moves, where you have to look at substantially fewer stocks. I mean, you don't even have to look at other ones. You've got a repeatable proven strategy, as we said before, and you still got that peace of mind and that complete control. And the setup that we're actually looking at is the one that I've been kind of showing you round about up to now, the one that Rohan loves. Hi, guy. That short squeeze is my current favorite. The trade finders have pixie dust. They are magical. Second person said they're magical. Let's have a little look. Kirkland's was a short squeeze. And as we know, it doubled in six days, it then seven folded in two months, and then it 13 folded in eight months, all from the same setup. But in addition, it was a short squeeze. We can filter for that. Overstock, 10X, it was a short squeeze at the time, 10X in four months. GameStop, who remembers the GameStop and stuff going on in January this year? This was a short squeeze. You might remember it. It bankrupted a, a hedge fund and it did it three times. Short squeeze one, big money footprints. Short squeeze two, big money footprints. Short squeeze three, big money footprints. Each and every time with the same kind of setup and it happened. So 1500% in six weeks on that first one. What about AMC? This is the other one, one of the other ones that was famous at the time. But again, big money footprints are there. And it was a short squeeze, sevenfold in six days. Now, these are outstanding and crazy returns. You're not going to get those every day. But you see the point, don't you? You see that this is the same setup, the same system. But now we have further refined it to find stocks that might be short squeezes. Give me a way if that makes sense. And that's why you can get not only the good returns and the solid returns of a solid system, but now ones that are just that eensy weensy bit more exciting as well when they happen. So there are two options of doing this. You can do it the manual way. You can go through various stocks and save a watch list, check the charts, include, you know, if you've got OVI, which you can only get through me anyway, you could include it in analysis if you have it. And if you know what my trading plan is, but you could do it for safety, you know, for safe execution. The other way is to automate the whole thing. You can, with one click, find big money footprint stocks, a couple of clicks, and include, well, include the short squeezes if you like. You can manage the trade using my system to manage it for low risk and also maximum return if it goes on a big run. And you can repeat over and over again because it's all about repeatability and you can repeat it in, in a way that is not, uh, it, there's not hard work. And again, you can apply it to short squeeze stocks, literally in a click of a button. So you can access those optimal setups literally in one click. Literally there is a short squeezes, fast filter I call it, all you have to do is click on that, that, um, that, that magnifying glass and see whether the big money footprints are there as well. So for example, General Electric appeared in the watch list. This wasn't even a short squeezer. And you confirm on the chart, because you know how to buy now, um, whether it has the big money footprints there. It also will show you, my charts will show you if big money footprints are present anyway, and you will have filtered for it in any case. Um, and you then trade according to my trading plan. That's how this one became, well, actually, eventually an 83% profit, but here, 61.74% profit, and from a mobile device. Now, sometimes it can take one winning trade to really transform your account, even on Apple, it could be. So with Vince, he did one on Apple. He gets a seven out of 10 win ratio, $34,000 on Apple. Again, Tesla's done it on multiple occasions. Now, if you could feasibly 3X your, you know, your trades in six months or even your account, would that be a good thing? I suggest it probably would be a good thing because these guys have been there and done it and obviously love it. And it doesn't matter whether it was beyond meat or a firm, these guys love it. And again, Rohan is doing it with short squeezers as well. And again, remember Pat's trades, they're all the same. She waits, she's patient and does the same thing over and over again because it's a system. The same with Joyce, three extra account in, in nine months. But look, they look exactly the same because they are pretty much exactly the same. You can filter them. This is all, uh, well, not all, this is a selection of other better than Bitcoin traders. And of course, you can do crypto and stocks. This now gives you a little bit more firepower, a little bit more uh, flexibility, more choice, because 
yes, we can have that fun with crypto, but you can get similar upside, if not bigger, but with a repeatable proven strategy. So now you can play the crypto game and you can play another game at the same time with fun, exciting, repeatable results as well, once you've got the knack of it. And if you had all the training and the tools and the coaching for it, well, what would that mean? Well, for this fellow here, um, this one, David, I think, in, uh, I think his name is he, it's David. I started OBI trading May. I'm easily meeting my trading goals. $38,000 of profits from three trades, three simple little trades. Wrote in to tell us that, which was rather nice from last year. New people also do remarkably well. First and foremost, using the OBI has increased my confidence. It almost feels unfair or like cheating. Downside risk feels very low. I've learned to take my profits. We're up at least 70%, but that one was over. We had another one of 550% in gains. Crypto like returns in that one. John in America says OVI is by far the best program I've ever done so far. I love the personal relationship. My team are there to help you and to serve you as well. Let me just go through it again and then I'm going to introduce you to my team as well. So the whole training, the foundation day, strategy day, and the recordings. A three and a half thousand dollar value. Then you've got the 12 month VIP trade finder access. And by the way, you can attend remotely or in person. So many people, most people attend remotely. So we broadcast it like a TV show uh, on the day. Then you've got that 12 month VIP trade finder access. Okay, that is where you can literally filter for anything in literally a click with my fast filters watch list, the whole thing, three thousand dollar value, including the OVI. You've got those wonderful cheat sheets, so you have all the information you need at a quick glance right in front of you, nice and tangible and uh, laminated, etc. That gift pack as well, which I'll come on to in a minute. Then you've got the time lapse training charts where you can gather a year's worth of experience in literally a few hours and have fun with it. You've got the small account growth secrets and video guide, so you can really catch on to the psychology of what we're doing, the simple psychology of what we're doing. That lovely gift bundle. So what you'll get in the gift bundle, you get a lovely flask, which has um, got our logos on it. You've got the laminates. You've got a nice leather, leather, uh, leather folio with that, uh, all branded and all high quality. You've got a beanie. It's winter. Who wants a beanie? I want a beanie in the winter. Again, classy stuff. We don't do any cheap stuff. We don't do fruit of the loom kind of stuff. We do nice stuff. Okay, stuff that you can use, find useful, but also stuff that you'll have some fun with as well. So a bit of that too. The first bonus, those mastermind group sessions, I always promise three, I always deliver more than three. 997 value, that's where, again, we catch up, we answer questions, but we also show you anything new that's happening as well, because you'll get upgrades along the way. Bonus number two, you might not be surprised to know, is automatic VIP filter for the short squeeze and other like stocks. I call it implied volatility stocks, but you've got access to those short squeezes in literally a button. Uh, and with the other ones as well, it has at least a value of 1997 there. Bonus number three is almost like a DFY, done for you kind of trade finder. Home hedge fund, I won't go into that right now, but it's really cool. You get six months of access to that as a little bonus as well. And that's where some trade finders have already been, <coughs> been done for you. So I was starting to cough there. Um, I've done pretty well so far, by the way, I've got to say. Um, done for you there. Um, go into that on the day. Bonus number four. Well, you know Chloe 15 x her account. Who'd like to have her watch list as it changes as well? Who'd like to have her dynamic watch list? Give me a wave. Well, that's a bonus as well. And we provide a digital journal because guess what? Not only it's a laminate, but we know, we know without any shadow of doubt that journaling is a good thing in trading, but it's also a pain in the butt, right? So I have designed a journal that takes you a minute, literally less, or even less than a minute. Click, 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 click. Who could do that? Who would feel that journaling is okay if it could just be as quick as that? It's so important you will be a better trader as a result because you'll be recording what you do and your behavior and all those things. So we give you that as well. It's a brand new piece of technology. I'm literally launching it in the next couple of days as well. And of course, you get instant access to all tools if you get it tonight, uh, including the 2020 summit. And then obviously, as we get close to the event, all these things will be released. And the way to go to get it is at ovi.to forward slash wise traders. And that's where you'll see the offer. Now, the whole thing is worth over $14,000. And that's notwithstanding the fact you can't get it anywhere else anyway. Normal rate is 3997 but it is only 1997 US dollars and that's our classic special if 
you do want to have personal coaching from professional coaches, we can add that as well uh, with an upgrade um, if you want, but yeah, there's no obligation on that one. We are limited to 90 seats because there are personal aspects to this one as well. And so we want to get on with this and get make sure you get on it now. Um, this was, unfortunately, I haven't got the name. Actually, I do have the name, but it was on Twitter. You can actually find this on Twitter if you look hard enough. Best purchase I made in the last 12 months. Made a cheeky $1,200 profit with Fang. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, that line is <laughs> the lines in the wrong place. Uh, and then there's George. Again, I can vouch for Dr. Cohen's magic system. I made 88% profit in just under a year. And that's doing simple stuff, not even doing the aggressive stuff. This is my team. Um, I have a whole research and development department. I have a quant team who no one gets to see. I have my mentors, Glenn and Chloe. You remember Chloe? 15X, we call her. It's almost like 007, we call her 15X there. And we have the, my wonderful support team, many, a couple of whom are on here today as well. We are here to serve you. We love doing it. We love seeing your results as well. And I've even got uh, a comms department to make sure that we communicate with you in, in the right way, in a nice way, in a, in a friendly, cheerful, but also clear way as well. And there's obviously me as well right in there too. And I work mainly with the quant team on that. Again, Adam, give me a wave. I hope it's been worth your while. I lived up to your expectations this evening. Give me a wave if I did. You're waving, that sounds like a good thing to me. So thank you for that. Don't worry, your identity is preserved in this one, but thanks for letting me show that or not, uh, not being upset with showing that. It's about taking simple steps. Literally, you get a cup of coffee, you log in on a mobile device, you know, tablet's even nicer, and you, you do the one click for a filter, and then you can find the stocks that suit you, whether they're the short squeezes or other just bog standard big money footprints at ovi.to forward slash wise traders. Again, it's simple trades. We want you to be good at one or two things, not a whole encyclopedia of things. And that's why Joel says, it's combined with my trading plan, I've been finally able to make start making consistent profits. And you can do this from anywhere. It doesn't matter whether you're in the car waiting for your kids at school or, or like I'm doing there or, or like whether you are by the beach or whether it's your wife or your husband or your partner by the bar, <clears throat> even on, on, a, on a tablet or laptop, whatever you like to do. But remember, it's a system. It's a repeatable system, whether it's Boeing and Halliburton, Chubb and BXP, all those look the same because they are essentially pretty much the same. And you'll be able to find them in a click and then process them very quickly because you've been taught to know which are the ones to go for, and which are the ones to not go for and which times. And here we go. So it is limited seats as well. You get all this wonderful gift bundle as well. Oh, you get a beach bag as well. That's the other thing I, I didn't remember. You got a lovely branded beach bag as well. This is the, the uh, I won't go into the laminates, but they are cool. You get the trading journal here. Again, according to our plan of, you know, stock, of market timing, stock selection, and, uh, and our trade plan as well. And you've got our strategies. You've got all summarized in these beautiful, lovely, crisp laminate, uh, you, know, pay, uh, you know, pieces of, card if you like this is micah in minneapolis again rode a big money footprint winner 150 percent there finally getting to profits some big players in there fifty three thousand dollars on a 7x return on linkedin a few years ago with steve and then there's vinny with his thirty four thousand on apple seven out of ten win ratio doug with eight out of ten win ratio 5x on boeing in 101 days and again, there's Kyle again, you know, and his priorities are a lot less, you know, they're about his social security. Eight out of 10 win ratio went from three out of 10 win ratio to eight out of 10 win ratio. Again, the link is ovi.to forward slash wise trades. Here's Kedzie, love her a bit. She's quite eccentric. Um, she writes in to say, I've made 21,000 since the January the 1st and probably another four to 5,000 in the next hour or so. Very casual. That was on the 7th of January. So in six days, she's made 21 grand. And she'd actually made over 200,000 in profits. And more importantly, she was a newsletter junkie. And we got her down from 15, which she was paying for, down to one and our stuff as well. So pretty cool. Again, join the family. Um, it's obi.to forward slash wise traders. We are very much like a family. And you know, the only thing I can say is that once you're with us, you won't want to leave because we, we, we are a family in, in the good family way. I'm not talking about the bad family way, the good family way. Um, and we care. And the, the fact that we care and how we care is very self-evident right from the very beginning. 
And that's why people stay with us for year after year after year. Again, there are limited seats. The link is ovi.to forward slash wise trader, wise traders. I think it's in your link already. We can do a quick Q&A as well. Um, and I can <coughs> ask some, some questions as well. If you've asked a question here, I will answer it. Okay, I will not rest. I will not go until my team and I have answered your questions. Okay, so how do you do it when you go on this link, uh, ovi.to forward slash wise traders? And I think there is a link um, also in the chat. What will happen is you will get a page like this and you'll go scroll through the page, put in your details, and get in as well that way. And there is a timer on that because we are running out of seats. So please do get in or contact us if you have a delay. Contact us, say, look, I'm in, but can you just give me a day or so or whatever? Uh, we can do that. Um, if you need a plan, um, are desperate to get in, need a plan, Graham has asked me, we can do something for you as well. Now, um, that's what you do there. And just make sure we put anything to do with OVI traders, wise traders, flag trader on your safe senders list as well. That would be very, very handy as well. I'm going to go through these questions. They're right in front of me right now. So I'm, when I'm looking here, I'm looking at your questions. So give me, just let me uh, do that for you and I will go through all these questions for you. Um, let's have a look. There was Adam. Um, good to see you again. Thank you for that. There's Arthur. Um, Arthur, give me a wave. I know that you are involved and uh, looking at stuff. I hope it's going well. Hope you've seen what we did last year as well. So hopefully you're enjoying that. Give me a wave if it's a uh, positive uh, experience. With, with, okay, good. That's nice. I'll take that. That's very good. Thank you very much. And we'll be in touch. You can contact me uh, through my team at any time. Um, Russ says, uh, if you've got zero experience, we have taken on people with zero experience. I think we're pretty well equipped to with the foundation day. And we have our you know trading guides for complete beginners as well. So if you are a complete beginner, this is now going to be a pretty decent place to start. We, I, we never used to do it, but we do now. And we've got, you know, Chloe has designed some really cool courses for people right at the beginning. And you can join those courses and then you can get up to speed on that foundation day as well. So, yes, that is a yes for you, Russ. Um, Victor, um, you've said it, it's a 12 month membership and that's why it's at a very affordable rate. Um, there is nothing like this anywhere else. And the people renew every single year. That's what they do. And that's you know, when people ask me actually why is it such good value considering i'm also servicing you know uh, professionals as well i say because i know you're going to come back year after year and that means i can keep the prices at a very reasonable rate especially compared to other people who charge a lot more for a lot less um martin you're here you say how much capital would you suggest as a starting point you can start with it depends whether you're spread betting um, or doing that kind of thing, or you're just doing a standard thing. But we've had people start with spread betting with hundreds of pounds and with normal, a normal sort of trading account, if you like, with you know, as little as you know, $3,000 as well. That is there. How much does it cost to start? I think I've said that on Sirius already. Martin's here. On average, how long does it take to make a profit with trade? Or is it day trade and daily profits? Do we compound? Martin, that's quite a bit of um, how long is a piece of string. So some people will just sort of, you know, it's like anything. It's, you know, some people get it quicker than others. Some people have more time and focus to dedicate to it more than others. And so that is a variable that we can't quite uh, control. That's a bit out of our control. But the markets behave in a way that sometimes they're really friendly and sometimes they're not quite as friendly. And as you spend time with us, you will get to gauge whether we're in a friendly kind of market or a not so friendly kind of market. And so you'll adjust your risk positions accordingly as well. Does that make sense? Give me a wave on that one. You cannot expect the market to be behaving in the same way at the, all the time. And it doesn't, is the truth. So we have to, you know, we, we move with those, with those cycles, if I can put it that way. Adam says this, um, yes, we can. Um, Adam, my team will send me, good, good to see you, Adam. Just give me another wave. Yeah, we can definitely. Uh, be in contact, no problem about that. Uh, Greg is here, realistically to start, as I said, I think I answered that earlier. David says here, is there a recording? I certainly hope so. Um, let me have a look to make sure. Yes, there will be a recording of this, David. That's good, few. Um, Sirius, is payment plan. Yes, we can help you, Sirius, on that one. Brett's here, what platform 
to use to open trades? Well, you that's up to you. You can choose, you know, interactive brokers. You can choose one with Schwab's, Ameri I think uh, TradeStation do one, Tasty Trade. There are a few brokers you can use and we can help you sort of know who they are. But there's plenty of different broker platforms out there. Brett, just give me a wave on that one if you might. That, so there are plenty of broker platforms and you can keep it nice and simple as well. Um, Jochen, um, great webinar. Do you also trade for investors? I don't, I only do certain things for professionals. This is what I do for, for retail, for, you know, for home-based. Now, eventually, hopefully, but you know, one step at a time. This, you have far more control. This, you have far more ability to, to gain a skill. Again, a repeatable skill. That's what I love about this. Um, and so, you know, for me, I like to have a skill that I can repeat if I want to sit down and do something. And we do make things progressively easier and easier every single year, every single month, let alone year. We're always pushing the boundaries of our technology, make it easier, make it better, make it more precise, all those wonderful things. And make it more fun as well. Um, Chris, what is your stop loss strategy? That's all in my trading plan. So Chris, give me a wave on that one. Uh, Chris, 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 give me a wave. There you go. Um, we have um, a very, we have a four-step trading plan, the edge, we call it the edge trading plan, E-D-G-E. -E. The first E is to control, put you in control right in the beginning. So we have specific requirements of what we require for you to enter a trade, both in terms of the setup and the, uh, and the behavior. Very important because most people enter trades and they're out of control right from the very beginning. Not with us. We are in control right from the very beginning. The second piece is really important as well because that's about protecting your profits. How many people have had a profit on paper, quite decent, and they let it turn into a loss? We've all done it. Everyone's hand should go up because we've all done it. Not when you trade my system. <clears throat> when you trade my plan, that doesn't happen because we have a mechanism to prevent that from happening, to protect our profits. The third one, though, is what happens if you got out of a trade before it went blitz to trend? Well, we have a system, we have a mechanism within the trade plan to make sure that if you are trending in your favor, you're on that trend with it. You're on that rocket ride if you want to be as well. That's another part. And then the whole thing is enshrined within empirical substance. And you can see from our, our professional returns, our hedge fund returns, that what we're doing has a natural edge, a logical, natural, and proven empirical advantage. So it's not just because we're good at the trade plan. There is a, a substantive, provable edge in what we do as well. And that's important. That's why the hedge fund stuff goes well with us as well. Um, Brett, yes, it is stocks and shares. <coughs> and we've done, I've said it's the minimum starting balance as well. Lena is, um, will you money to start for trading? And is there a minimum? So yes, if you're trading in a normal account, I'd say, you know, so like $3,000. If you're trading in a spread bet account, you can do it with a couple hundred quid, couple hundred pounds. If you want to start that small, you could do that as well. Lee here um, says, with a 10,000 bank, just give me a wave, by the way, if I read out your name, Lena and, uh, Lee and Lee and others, just give me a wave just to say, just so I know that I'm definitely having a chat with you on this one. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Let's have a look. Is this spread betting or investing in stocks and shares? It can be uh, either or. I know Narishma has answered your question there. Um, Lee, let's have a look at you. You're starting with a 10,000 bank. If one gains 50% per year for 20 years, you would end up with about 180 million with the compounding. Why do you need me? Why to... Well, <laughs> Lee, give me a wave. A very interesting system. How do you think I was able to create a system in the first place? that has cost millions of dollars to create, okay? Think it through. You know, we've created something that now is used by professionals, okay? It, you don't have all your eggs and all your risk in that one basket, especially as you're developing it as well. It has taken, as I said in the slides, it took years to develop the system. A good trading system, guys, doesn't take five minutes to create, okay? It also doesn't take retail-based software to create, it takes years. I have an academic background, and from that, I then had to have a practical background and learn that, and then I had to still build it after that, and I still had to hire people to help me to do it, and equipment, and it took years, and years, and years. That shouldn't be too difficult to grasp. I understand the question, but that shouldn't be too difficult to grasp, and also, do you put all of your risk in one thing? I don't think so. 
Sirius says yes. David says, thanks for your reply. If you could email it to me, that would be great. Um, Rishma will do that. Brett says, thanks. Sirius says, lovely, thank you. Ray says, how many hours do you need to get going? Well, Ray, give me a wave, because this is a good question, a cracking question, actually. So this course is the foundation day and then the strategies day. And so that's two days, well, one and a half days, effectively. Now, if you didn't need the foundation day, it's just one day. So it's kind of eight hours. And we record it and we chop it into bits so that you can easily access the bits that you want to access, the strategy that you want to access. So we make it terribly easy for you. So there is the bit of the learning how to do it. And then there's sort of the practice time. So with that, Ray, of course, if you want to get very, very good. You do need to practice, but we're not talking about much of that. I mean, we've got a routine where one of our laminates is your routine. And that routine can be minutes several times a week, literally 20 minutes several times a week. And that accumulates over time, that, that stuff. Now, you can still do rather well in the, in the beginning, but I still want, you know, the reason I educate you is because I want you to be educated. I want you to, to, to this to be ingrained in you. And that takes a little bit of time. But to learn the basics is really simple. It's the practice that then takes the time. Does that, give me, that make sense, Ray? So in terms of learning, it's not intimidating at all. It's really, really totally not overwhelming. So, and don't forget, we're not teaching you like a gazillion things. We're teaching you how to do a specific thing of, of how to identify potential big money when it's appearing and when it's likely to do more based on empirical stats and then how to get in safely, how to get out safely. That's it. We're not doing a gazillion different chart patterns like other people do. It's very, very structured in that way. So to learn it and master it is very quick. Um, it's then just a question of just doing it and practicing it on paper or, or virtually, and then with real stuff, start small, like anything, start small, and then ramp it up as you go along, like, like, my, you know, like, like the, my people have done. But hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's have a look. Um, Brett, we will help you. Sirius, um, do I have to unlearn? <laughs> Sirius, give me a wave. I think I'm going to enjoy this question. One second. I have, I've seen the first couple of words. Sirius, do I have to unlearn all I have learned over the years of trading all this catered people like me? Well, there'll be one or two bits that, are, that may be familiar, but we are quite unique in what we do and how we do it. For a start, no one else has got the OVI. And for a second, no one quite does what we do. And no one, all, in, no one else that you could go get coaching for is actually doing it in the professional world either. So there is quite a lot of uniqueness about us, notwithstanding the fact we have a patent on our technology as well. But you will hopefully unlearn the things that didn't work and the things that don't work and the things that don't make sense. So everything that we do is based on logic. I mean, everything I went through with you today and what I will go through with you on the strategies and the foundation day is just logic. It's ultimately demand and supply at its very core. We don't do looking at the planets and the moons and magical numbers. We don't do any of that because it's not logical. It doesn't make sense. Professionals don't do it either. So we don't do anything that's crazy. We're doing things that are logical, but what we have is information. We have data that we have, we have got a lot of experience with and that provides a lot of value. And we've put that into a very easy system for everyday people like us and you to trade on a discretionary basis. So it's, it's, I think you will unlearn some things that weren't working for you. Serious, give me a wave if that makes sense. In fact, anyone, give me a wave because I suspect you've got some bad habits and we've all picked them up. And you know what? It's good to unlearn bad habits. Just give me a wave on that one, because in trading, everyone picks up bad habits for whatever reason, and everyone's a little bit different as well. Cool. Thanks, Sirius. Arthur, good to see you. Yes, I confirm trade entry stops and profit taking are covered in these. So Arthur is here. I think I can betray his, I, not his full identity, but Arthur actually is, um, is um, Graham's um, tester. So he, he goes out and he tests it. So I've given Arthur access as a tester so that he can actually endorse or not. If he thinks it's rubbish, he will say it's rubbish. He's got no, there's no incentive for him to say one thing or the other. Um, so he also says to me as well. So he says, first of all, Arthur says, yes, I can confirm trade entry stops and profit taking are covered in detail. And they are in detail. 
Um, Arthur also says, does this package include your options? No, not this one. This is stocks only, Arthur, on this one. Uh, but good question, good question for everyone to have as well. Um, I do actually add as a bonus, <clears throat> actually, now you've actually said it, Arthur, let me do this. If anyone is interested in options, I'm quite famous for options. Obviously, I've written books, best-selling books about it and all this. And I'm going to add here, as a bonus, options 101. And, you know, I'm not going to be overly modest about this, but if you are going to learn options, guys, you probably want to learn from me. Okay? I, that, I, I'm not going to be, I don't want to be arrogant or conceited about it, but I make it easy for people. My software is ridiculous on options as well, but I'm going to add options 101 because I break it down into very, very simple pieces, and, and I'm known for that with options as well. So I will add options 101 to this package as well. Um, <clears throat> Brett, yes, yes, yes. I see you got your email address there. Um, how much of your bank are you staking per trade? This is Maya. Well, <clears throat> It's a very, very good point. And we do talk about you know, uh, money management as well. But it partly depends on how much you've got. A very small account will unfortunately have to trade a little bit more percentage of their bank um, than other people. But generally, you, know, you want to be doing less than 5% per trade of your bank, or you want to be risking. You see, there's a difference to how much you actually place on trade in terms of the percentage of your account and the amount that's at risk. And the amount that is at risk from a practical perspective, not if the thing goes down to zero, our stocks don't go down to zero, right? But it's the difference between your entry level and your stop level multiplied by contracts or how many shares you buy. That's your practical risk. Give me a wave if that makes sense. And so the percentage at risk, practical risk, not absolute, absolute is they could all go down to zero, but not our stocks. They don't go down to zero. They're already on the way up when you buy them anyway. Um, it's that that's important, not so much the cash amount that you're investing. And uh, I, I go into that on the day. So it's the, it's the practical risk that's the important bit. And you're risking, in those terms, very little. You're pretty, typically less than 2% um, on any given trade, no matter how much cash you're putting into a trade. Oh, now, but good question, Mayor. Good question. Um, can you use your AI to auto trade? Well, there is a little bit of a bonus. When I talk about the home hedge fund, there is a little bit of that in there. It's not the same, not exactly the same as the institutional one, but it's it's sort of a previous version. So the home hedge fund does have a little bit of you know automated, not automated trading per se, because we'd have to be regulated for that, but automated selections that again I will show you what to do with those ones. You don't just follow it blindly because um, that would cause chaos with you emotionally um, but it's it's presenting picks and you if they if you recognize them as good solid big money footprint picks then you would pick them that's what pat does with quite a lot of as well so pat who you saw 8x to her account um, so far then that's, she does that quite a bit so that's why i give that as a bonus um, why does one need 3,000 start rather than 1,000? Well, it's really down to the fact that I want you to not have too much at risk compared to your overall account in one hit. Now, if you've got a spread betting account, <coughs> Julian, give me a wave, um, 1,000 would be okay. But it's just a question of you know, not having all your, you know, all your chips on a particular trade or too much, percentage, too much of a percentage of all your chips in, of your account in, into one trade. Um, Brett says, what risk reward ratio do you use? This is a really interesting question. Now, there are various ways to interpret this question, but the way I'd say it is this. Um, we, I look at any given trade on its merits of the likelihood of it being a winner. Now, what you often find, um, Julian, is that, sorry, Brett, um, give, me, give me a wave, Brett, by the way, why are you doing this? A lot of people go, and you all have heard this, I am only going to risk one if I can make five or four, whatever. Who's heard that when people go, I only risk one to make four? And it sounds really good, doesn't it? But on what basis are they claiming the four will be made? You see, mathematically, regardless of anything, if you're risking one to make four, you are already got low odds of making that four, right? That's just a quantitative reality. So we base our risk reward on slightly different criteria. Now, typically, I'll do a one for one, but my probability of getting my one is very high. 
you saw those people with sevens and eights out of 10 win rates. So even, and that's just the first profit target, because again, my, my trading plan involves having one profit target and then another one beyond if the first one is reached. So we skew the odds by our trading plan and by the quality of the setups that we are trading. Does that make sense? Give me a wave. And that is eminently more realistic and sensible by, than just by doing an arbitrary, I risk one to make four. If I can't make four to one, then I'm not going to trade. It doesn't make any sense. On what basis are you arbitrarily and subjectively saying, I could make four? It doesn't make sense. If you think about it, it it's just designed to make it look good. It doesn't actually make any sense. Okay, so I hope that makes sense as well, without getting too much in the weeds here as well. David says, thank you. Greg, uh, as a complete beginner, how much time will need to spend the course? Well, um, Narishma has actually contacted you here, um, and there is some homework to do, but not much. I mean, through a couple of hours worth of homework to do before the foundation day, and then you go on the foundation day, and you'll be brought into it. And by the way, Greg, don't, Greg, give me a wave. Don't be intimidated. If you want to do trading, this is the least intimidating thing you'll ever do. You, we're not teaching all these gazillions of different things. We're very, very focused on what we do. And there's always logic to peel back to as well. Um, Sirius, again, the universe has brought me this opportunity to me at the right time. I started learning about options from YouTube and it's so confusing. I would also work nine to five. Would I be able to do this? Well, yes, you were. I mean, this is, you know, at this point, one, I do completely deconstruct it. Number one, I, I make things very unconfusing. I make things very clear. Um, but yes, you can work this around because the way we place our trades means that you can set and forget as well. You can place your trade, your entry, your stop, your profit targets. You can place them with particular brokers um, in advance. So you don't have to be st staring at your screens. And I don't want you to be staring at screens. We're not staring at our screens kind of people. Um, David says, how many trades would you have open at any given time on average? <coughs> right. That depends. But typically never more than five. Because who can cope with all that, right? I mean, you think about that. So typically not more than five um, is, is my general tenor of stretch. Depends on, you know, how much time you've got to dedicate to it and, you know, how organized you are as well. That's why the, the new um, trade journal, the digital, digital journal will come in quite handy. But typically, yeah, we don't want to be overdoing it. In fact, remember, look at the results that Chloe and Pat got from just over you know, 1.19 and 1.28 trades per week on average. You know, not over trading on that one. Um, Greg has asked a question, Rishma has answered. Victor says, thank you, thank you, Victor, on that one. Say hello, um, David, just give me a wave as well. Okay, I see you waving as well. Uh, that's good, definitely manageable, says David. Absolutely, we don't be over trading. Um, my voice has held up. Let me just take a quick sip of cold herbal tea. I have to take this thing actually, and at times like this, like this thing called vocal zone. <clears throat> and vocal zone is uh, actually quite good. If you've got to talk, it will protect it a little bit. But any other questions um, for you right now? Let me know. Um, let me see if I can. There's some other questions that came in separately. Um, yes, it is 12 months membership <clears throat> on this one. And you're grandfathered in, the prices won't go up. Um, thanks, Narishma, says Greg. <clears throat> can't wait, says Ray. Thank you, Ray. Good for you. Uh, can't wait as well. And if, by the way, anyone that's actually coming and actually going to be with us live in the same room, is there a risk to losing your full bank balance at all? Not if you do it right, Brett. If you do it wrong and, and you bet the farm and do all that, then any strategy could be disastrous. But, but no, if you're doing it the way we teach you, there is, I would say, no chance of losing your full bank balance, okay? There's, uh, we just don't do that. It's not, you know, it's not, we're not gambling. We are, how do I put it? We are odds players and um, we are mathematically inclined odds players as well. So I have never heard, <clears throat> and I think the best way to answer that question, Brett, is to say, I have never heard of anyone who has been subscribed to me of losing their bank balance on this. Never, ever. And I've been around for what, 15 plus years? Um, so yes. Um, Sirius has given a number. Thank you very much. I won't, I won't broadcast that number, Sirius. That'll be for us. We will 
we will contact you. Um, anything else? For anything else? Um, who else got something? Um, Arthur, it's good to see you here. Um, by the way, Arthur is, is Graham's proxy for today. But I expect you to give me a pretty hard time, Arthur, as well. But I think you, uh, yeah, I think you'll see the quality anyway in this one. Um, and hopefully, Adam, you'll be you'll have been happy to reacquaint it as well. Um, but if you guys have more questions, I am here. My team is here. If you don't, uh, no point in keeping you sort of hanging on. But any other questions? Anything you like. Nothing's a bad question. Anything's a good question. And um, but I'll count it down. I'll leave my screen up so you can see it as well. Remember, you will get the Options 101 as a bonus as well. There's other bonuses. I just didn't have enough room to put all the bonuses in. This is already getting quite full in terms of what you're getting. Greg says, the webinar was fantastic. Engin, uh, thank you very much. That is good. Um, oh, hang on. I've got some more things here. Um, I'm interested in the payment plan. Please contact me. Engin, we will get in contact with you. Greg, webinar was fantastic. Says, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Um, Arthur says, uh, you'll contact me. Great, Arthur, look forward to that one. And he says, I reviewed Flag Trader in 2011. Now, Arthur, you, if you have, if you remember that far back, you'll see how far along we've come. Um, we have really gone nutty with our technology um, and how, how to make it easy. You, you'll find it quite different today. And it's much clearer in terms of how we teach our, you know, our, our, our Messaging is just very, very clear. It's a very clear system now. Um, but again, you always have to keep improving. I still am looking to improve. My quants are still looking to improve. My program is still looking to improve. My, my, my comms team, always looking to improve. It's just the way of life, right? You've got to keep on improving. Um, let's have a look. Next, next, next. Um, what bank balance do you need to make sure you're able to profit enough to cover subscription? Well, that's... <clears throat> Brett, all I can say is what I know people have done. So I know that Chloe started with $3,000 after she had subscribed. Okay. I know that others have done even less than that, depending on whether they're spread betting. You know, I think my lowest trading account was about a thousand. My lowest spread betting account was a hundred with a father and son team who then went on to make 2,000 uh, pounds actually in six months. But, you know, I don't want it to be that low. If it is that low, Greg, either you need to go on a plan or you need to can reconsider. We don't, you know, I, what I'm not into is trying to, you know, uh, strong arm someone into something that they might not be quite ready for. So I'd rather you got yourself into a position where you're ready rather than try and sort of you know, rush you into it now. That's not what we're about. So have a chat with us if you want, but there's no strong arming here um, in terms of that. And if you're not quite ready, We'll still be here. You know, get yourself sorted in whichever ways you need to be sorted, and we'll still be here. Okay. Um, Adam says, "Great presentation. Thank you, Adam. Good. To, I look forward to catching up with you very soon." Uh, David, missed the start of the webinar. Is the price? Yes, it's a twelve-month, um, David. Because software, let me tell you, software doesn't do nothing. <laughs> it it really is very intense on our part to keep on improving it, and boy, we keep on improving it. And you'll see the benefits of that as well. So it is that. But we will, you will be grandfathered. You will not ever have to pay more than this if you want to continue. And and the vast majority do. We have a very, very high repeat rate, and abnormally high. But you'll see why if you join, uh, because it is good value. Uh, Arthur says agreed. Uh, it has changed a lot. So you've seen how, how well it's morphed. Um, and it's not like unrecognizable in terms of, you know, I've never gone and done an about turn, go, oh, all the other stuff was wrong. We've got this new thing now. Never. It's always with us an evolution, an evolution which is based on very, very high level research that is professional grade. And that's, and we can incrementally make improvements year on year. And that's what we've done. That's why it looks dramatic over a 10 year period. Um, but it, the research keeps on improving. The, the teaching keeps on improving. The software keeps on improving as well. Much easier than it ever was to do. Mobile friendly, all those nice things. I mean, I could go on forever about that, but um, I'll spare you this time. Um, says, thank you, says David. Brett says, thank you for the answer to the questions. 
Um, does this also offer long-term investment into stocks? It's serious. Um, we're not intraday, but we're not super long-term either, unless the stock goes on a nice trend. I mean, there are times where you've got into Apple and you've just stayed in there for months and months and months. So there is that too. So, you know, you don't just have to do the short squeezes. The short squeezes will be a bit less, you know, they'll be a bit more, how do I put it, a bit more sort of short-term but still not intraday. But of course there are stocks, particularly when stocks, have, you know, when, when the stock market has taken a hit and we're all under the 200 day moving averages, then you can, once the stocks go through that one, there is this scope to be in for the long haul. So it just depends on the opportunity series on that one. But typically our trades will last between days and weeks, maybe even a few months. But that's, it depends on, you know, if they keep on going in our favor. Um, <clears throat> but they're not intense, you know, as I said. Any others, we've done 90 minutes. It's flown by, my voice has held up, which is the big good thing. It sounds a bit weird to me. This is not my real voice, by the way. This is, my, this is a coldy voice. Um, Julian, <clears throat> can you explain why starting back with learn for spread betting? <coughs> um, Julian, yes, uh, good question. Well, it's because you have the leverage. Um, so basically you have, you can do more with less with spread betting, but you're right, you have the, the risk factor as well on that one. So yes, it's a good good point and well made. I mean, I typically don't, you know, spread betting is, you know, go with a reputable firm is, is all I'd say on that one. Um, Amy, good to see you, Amy, good to see you. Good, give me a wave as well, uh, interested in the payment plan. We will, we will help you on that as well. Um, Anything else? There's, oh, hang on, move we go. Any more questions? We're still here. Ah, here we go, Arthur. Yes. <laughs> okay, Arthur, we'll go that far. I, Arthur says not IG, and uh, I would tend to agree. Arthur, who do you use, by the way, just, just out of interest? Because I think that's a good, I, I, I am happy for you to say that, by the way, and, and I agree. Um, no particular BOT. Okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> I see. But not IG. Yeah, there are other more reputable ones, fairer ones. Um, what you don't want is some spread better inventing the prices on you because we're trading off market prices and yet they suddenly then put their own prices on. I go, well, I, you know, that's like the game being, that's like being the poacher and the gamekeeper at the same time, isn't it? Ray, we will do that for you as well. Um, there are, we will, um, David, we will recommend um, maybe, I don't, hang on, let me just have a look who's here. Um, Paul, Paul, spread better. Um, there is, goodness, I'm just trying to think, it was City Index, so if they're okay. Um, there's also one, an Australian one, that, and I'm just struggling to remember their name, actually, because I, I do, in, I'm, I'm doing with US brokers. Let's have a look. Oh, hang on, again. Um Let's, capitals, uh, capital spreads. Okay, capital spreads on that one, they're fair. There's the other one, there's, um, oh, we, we will, if we, if we, any any other one, Paul? Um, there's another one, I think an Aussie-based one, and they use um, certain charts as well. I can't remember who they are now. Um, but capital spreads, they're okay. They're all right. Capital spreads, make sure you get that right. LCG, okay, so LCG, they'll be fair. LCG, um, that's Lima, Charlie, Golf, LCG. On that, on the spread bet side of things. Um, any more for any more? It's amazing what happens in these Q and A's. They kind of just keep on going a little bit. But it's good to see you guys. Uh, I always like seeing Graham's people. Good crowd. Um, anything else? Saxo. I think Saxo are okay. Yeah, I think Saxo, they always were, and I think they do that. So Saxo are reputable. They're all right. They're okay. Pete Paul will tell us as well if he thinks that. I think Saxo are all right. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Victor, we will help you as well. Um, 
So hopefully you're around the next couple of days so we can help you out with that. Um, if you have, if you want to put your email address in so we can contact you that way or your phone, we will contact you that way. So we're at 41. Which, uh, which country, Invicta? OK report to Sa Saxo, uh, says Paul as well on that one. Oh, Slovakia. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. My, my wife is Italian, but her mum was Slovakian. So uh, she's half Slovakian. So she could actually speak to you, um, Victor. So Victor, give me a wave. Yeah, she, she is. I'm a very lucky man. I, uh, I'm punching above my weight. <laughs> yeah, and very nice as well. More than anything, very nice person as well. David, don't worry. Um, David, there will be a recording of this. So David, give me a wave. Yeah, you're waving already. We, you can get the recording of this. Do not worry. Yeah, Victor, good for you. I wish I could actually, um, the, the only thing I could say to you that you might understand, but it's more Czech than uh, Slovak, is trudlnik, which is this, <laughs> this pastry thing they do in the middle of Prague. And it's all like a word, which doesn't have any vowels in it. It's just all consonants. Trudlnik. Do you know that one, Victor? Trudlnik? Yeah, that pastry thing that goes around on, the, on, the, on that sort of round spit. Of course. Yeah, Trudlnik. It's got like it's all vowels. It's all it's all um it's all consonants. Yeah, I, I had to have the Trudlnik um, in um, when we went to Prague. Um, I know Prague is not Slovakia, but that's where the family is now, um, and and obviously Italy as well. Anyway, I digress. Um, let's have a look. Uh, do you know your technology may be applicable to crypto, Julian? Yes, it may well. We are very aware of that, uh, Julian. Very, very aware, particularly if options starts to really take hold of in the crypto space. And obviously, if they do crypto ETFs, which they will do, uh, as in proper liquid ones, then our technology is going to be really good fun with that one. So we could basically do that. Um, Sirius, um, no, you don't get one to one on this. Let's so we have some options, though. So let, let Narishma take care of that one. But thank you very much. Um, OK, any more for any more? Or I'm sorry I didn't get to show you my dog. He usually comes. Who who's at the very beginning? I show I actually put him in front of the camera at the very beginning. Who saw Zippy? Zippy, my lovely doggy. Um he's very much part of this operation, may I say. Um who likes dogs? Dog is a lovely dog. He's a he's a wonderful dog. Um so he sometimes comes in, makes a bit of a nuisance himself. Z does Zippy have a fund now? says Julia. Well, yeah, Zippy is an inspiration in uh, many ways. Um, so he likes to come into webinars occasionally. And uh, so I do bring in, if he, if I, he comes in, I'll, I'll lift him up so he can have a look. Sometimes looks a little bit confused. He goes, what's this about? But um, he's a lovely dog. <clears throat> Email, thanks, Brett, for that. Lena? Um, no, Lena, what I can say this. We will not tell you which trades to make. Okay, we're not regulated. We don't do that. We'll teach you how to find the trades yourself and the specific types. But we don't tell you which trades to make. I have to be really, really clear on that one, OK? Now, when I'm doing my regular reviews in the market, that's all part of this as well, which I wasn't able to include but, or in, the, in the stack, but it's, it's there. So we have weekly reviews as well. I give you, I, I show you a list of stocks that I'm looking at either for education purposes or from, you know, because I'm interested in the trades. And you'll see which ones I'm really interested in and which ones I'm not. And obviously you'll be able to decide which ones you are as well. But I'm not going to, I can't give you a specific advice um, on that side of things. We can only do that with professionals and that's that's a whole different thing. Uh, we use the same kind of thing, but you're, you're going to know which ones I like more just by my tone and the fact that I'm not giving you a teaching lesson on that particular stock. So it, it, it gets to get quite sort of, you know, you, you'll get to know which ones we prefer, at least. Uh, Laina, um, thanks for your email address. We will take that one and uh, help you with that as well. Anything else? Any, any, anyone else for any more? But yes, we've, we've had people begin from scratch. And, uh, you know, obviously there's a slightly longer journey, as you'd expect. But at least you don't have to deal with all the nonsense when you're with us. We get straight to the point. No crazy things, no magical numbers, no looking at planets. And you know, there's some crazy things out there. 
and they, they're very seductive um, and very few good tools out there as well. And we have tools we teach and we, our tools are based on what we teach as well. So it's very, very cool. Very focused, very cool. No, no, there's not much fat on the bone with us. We really, really just get to the point. And that's what makes it manageable as well. Um, anything else? Anyone else? For anyone else? And by the way, remember, our best traders don't overtrade. You don't have to be putting trades on all the time. You can be really fussy as well. Very good to be fussy. Okay. So we're about one hour, 40 minutes in. And um, I think that, uh, I think we've exhausted all the questions so far. Um, I think what I'll say now is I want to say thank you to you for being here, and a lot of you have stayed behind, which is great. Um, I also want to say thanks to my team who have stayed up to do this. Uh, that is Narishma and Brandon and Michael, who is in uh, who's in Florida, and Paul, who's over here. They've all been here to help you, um, so that's great, and to help me as well, which is uh, great too. Do you have to trade daily? No, you don't. Naina, you don't have to trade daily. Remember, you know, Pat and and Chloe, they they they're on average, you know, have a one trade every week or so. You know, that's their average. And look at the returns they got. It's about quality, not quantity. Quality, not quantity. <clears throat> so they'll be doing a lot of stalking, you know, sniffing around, but they only press the trigger when they're really, really sure. And that's the way it should be. Does that make sense? Give me a wave if that makes sense. You don't want to be like, you know, trigger happy, do you? You want to be very discerning about this. And the more discerning you are, the better you will be. Um, thanks to this. Looking into it, says David. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap um, up. I've just realized, actually, I've got, I need to put the kids to bed. I know my mine went to bed already. I need to put myself to bed. That's why I wanted to. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I want to say thank you to all of you and my team. Uh, really good to see you. Good questions as well. Um, yes, Ade. Um, and I just want to say thank you to all, all of you guys. That's a yes. Um, and good to see you. Hello to Arthur, Graham, Adam uh, as well, uh, who are obviously from the past. And uh, hopefully hello to a lot of you guys in the present and the future as well. Okay, bye for now.